How you doing? I'm Kevin O'Hara for Alcohol Mastery, and this is Stop Drinking Alcohol, Week 48. Uh, some of my family were over this weekend, uh, just for a couple of days, and it's great to see family, you know, when you haven't seen them for, for quite a while. But uh, I find that every time now I go out drinking, it just reinforces the uh, fact that I'm not going to drink again. I mean, I, I really don't want it. I've sat there with my brother, and... Uh, He's not a big piss head by any, any stretch of the imagination. But uh, you could see the drink on him, you know, when he was... He's getting more and more drunk as the night goes on and the red wine stains on his teeth and uh, on his braces. It was just funny, you know, and... I just so didn't want it anymore. It was just... Uh, I was quite happy sitting there watching everyone else. Uh, you know, and there's people around me not drinking as well, so that, that probably helps. But, you know, with those special occasions, I, I would have stayed up there for a whole weekend and just drank and drank with them. And uh, Now, I was quite happy staying overnight, going to bed at 2 o'clock in the morning and having a great night's sleep. Um, as I speak now, I'm getting ready for my first Christmas in over 30 years without, uh, without alcohol. And I'm really looking forward to it. The Christmas, uh, the New Year celebrations, and uh, a whole fantastic New Year without alcohol. And over the next few weeks, I'm going to be making a few videos about um, how I'm preparing for Christmas and what I think other people should do, um, how I'm preparing for the New Year, uh, what I've learned about myself over the last... 12 months and really how my feelings have all changed over the last 12 months. I, I want to talk about that a little bit. So uh, this week I wanted to talk a little bit more about um, quitting drinking and why I think that it's just, uh, it's wrong to tell people that they could die from quitting drinking. Um, my point all along has been that you have much more chance of uh, dying I mean, much, much more chance of dying. I'd say a hundred times more, a thousand times more chance of dying from drinking alcohol, from all the causes that can happen. Not only the health risks that you take, but just fucking walking out in front of a car when you're pissed out of your head. You know, and the car runs over you. Um, but people say, no, you're completely wrong. Uh, you can die from uh, seizures and you can die from this if you quit drinking well stay drinking then Do you know I, I understand that there's a certain element of risk in this but uh, there's a risk of everything you know I'm down on the beach here I mean there's a certain risk that uh, that one of those killer whales could jump up and grab me you know like a seal or something or that a tidal wave could get me or that a plane could fall out of the sky uh, there's a chance that I could get knocked over every time I, I, I walk across the road. But if you think like that, then you're never going to do anything. If you think that there's the risk of you dying from quitting drinking uh, is more than uh, it is staying on the drink, then, you know, obviously don't quit. You know, you should just stay drinking. You know, this, this whole thing... The reason I'm doing these videos is to try and give people, encourage people that, you know, you're not going to die from quitting drinking, that you're going to live. I mean, I'm off the alcohol now for almost a year, and before I quit, I felt so many times that I, that I was close to dying. I woke up, I used to wake up in, in the middle of the night with my heart thumping out of my chest, and I seriously thought that I was on my way out. How many times did I wake up in the morning with a hangover that bad that I felt like I was going to die? Um, and now since I've quit drinking, I feel like I'm alive for the first time in so, so long. So that's my point of view anyway, you know. And if people want to take it wrong and say that I'm preaching that there's no chance of dying, then that's up to themselves. But I'm not saying that at all. I'm saying there's a risk in everything, you know. 
much of the time I'm talking about people who are in the same position as myself, whose drinking has gotten out of control. You know, I'm not, I'm not trying to help people. I can't help people who are, um, who are so far gone that they can't survive without drink. You know, that when they do try and quit, that they go into these seizures. I can't help somebody like that, you know. Nobody can help somebody like that. No video is going to help them anyway. So anyway, that's my rant for the day. One of the questions I got on the website last week uh, was in response to the video I did um, about visualizations. And it was basically, uh, this person said that, you know, like if, if, if I have to do visualizations to get over the cravings, um, and I'm 47 weeks off the alcohol, then I must be still getting cravings. And it's not really the cravings that I, that I get now, it's more of, um, of an impulse sort of uh, thing. It's like deja vu. It's like this uh, brainwashing feeling for something that I used to have um, a long time ago, like a, like almost like a love affair with with alcohol, and the alcohol is still there in the background. Um, you know, not the alcohol, but the this mentality. You know, it was in my life for such a long time. Uh, I mean, over 30 years, like I said. So it's bound to leave traces of. Um, of just the the day-to-day -day things that you do because it gets embedded into your system, embedded into your life in so many different ways. It's bound to uh, to leave some form, some trace of that. And at the end of the day, it is all down to habit memories. It's just my common sense now is the only thing that I need, the only tool that I need to overcome uh, these stupid fancies, you know. Um, you know, it all comes down to that kind of thing, going into a pub and having that brief moment of recognition you know that uh, that remembrance of times gone past and really you know like all those times have, have, have gone it's all gone now and it's never going to come back um, no matter what kind of little memories jump into my head it's not going to make me drink you know I'm going to do a video during the week about never having a drink again you know that uh, awful feeling that you get when somebody tells you you can never do something again and it seems to be especially strong in uh, people who are trying to quit drinking you know the reason is because you know people sort of think at the beginning just before they're, they're attempting to quit or in the first few days they're afraid of having to go to parties and weddings and celebrations um, all that kind of thing without having a drink. They're afraid of the times when they would have fallen back on having a drink and used it as a crutch. But there's much better ways of dealing with, with life, of much better coping strategies. And next year, I, I really want to try and focus the, the website on, on looking at some of those uh, coping strategies and looking into it and trying to find out more about it so I can I can teach you guys. When I started quitting myself, I was nervous about um, not having a drink again. I wasn't anywhere near as nervous as when I quit smoking. Um, when I quit smoking the last time and I sort of knew I wasn't going to smoke again, uh, I was petrified of all the times when I would use uh, cigarettes, nicotine as a crutch. But I can tell you after 48 weeks that it's just a trick of the mind, you know, it's just to trick your mind plays with you at the beginning and it does get easier. The whole thing is that your, your mind is so used to drinking, it's so used to having alcohol in your life that you're just impulsively reacting to, to um, situations. Um, but over time your, your mind gradually retunes itself to your new circumstances. Um, to not having a drink and your brain sort of gets on the same wavelength. But you have to give it time, so long as you don't drink, you know, a um, month goes by, two months go by, and it gets easier and easier, and gradually that retuning starts to happen. The impulsiveness uh, disappears, or it recedes anyway, 
I mean, like I say, I still get the odd impulse every so often, but that's all it is. It's nothing more. It's just like a momentary flicker. Um, and then it's gone. So, I stopped drinking alcohol week 48. Uh, next week I'm going to be talking about uh, my plans for Christmas and uh, see if I can come up with some strategies for dealing with it if you're quitting or if you're not uh, getting ready for uh, quitting after Christmas. There's nothing wrong with that either, you know. Um, if you have any questions at all, leave them on the website or down below if you're on YouTube. Send me a, uh, a message. If you're over on the website, subscribe to the newsletter. Absolutely free. Doesn't cost a penny. Just leave your first name and email address. And uh, it's just a weekly reminder of uh, the videos that we've put up on the website that week. And uh, just your own commitment to, uh, to uh, try and quit. So until next week, my name's Kevin O'Hara for Alcohol Mastery. Onwards and upwards.